bob will run around. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of deepfake technology and show you how to perform a face swap using Google Callout. It's an exciting and creative way to explore the potential of machine learning, but remember, use this technology responsibly and ethically. Let's get started. But before we jump into the practical demonstration, let's quickly understand what deepfake technology is. Deepfake is a combination of deep learning and fake. It's a technique that uses artificial intelligence to replace or manipulate one person's face with another person's face in videos or images. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to perform a face swap, transforming cricketer Pat Cummins into the footballer Harry Kane. If your computer is equipped with a powerful GPU, you can achieve this with just a few clicks. Our first step is to open Google Colab Notebook, simply click the link provided in the video description below. A cloud-based Python environment with powerful GPU support. You can access Colab for free with a Google account, making it accessible to everyone. Next, click on Copy to Drive. And then sign into your Google account. It will save to your drive and you can access anytime. Once you're inside Google Colab, simply click on Connect. This will serve as our workspace for running the deepfake code, leveraging the power of GPU acceleration. If the connection is successful, proceed by clicking the play button to install runtime for GPU. To upload your files, click on the folder icon on the left side. Then, at the top, click on the upload icon and select the files you want to upload. If you encounter this warning, simply click on the OK button to proceed. And please wait patiently until the upload process is completed. you will notice two scripts here. Running the first one will generate a lower quality output video, but it'll be faster to process. In contrast, running the second script will yield a high quality result, but it will take more time to complete. Once the upload is finished, right click on the image file and select copy path. I'm aiming for a high resolution video output, which is why I've chosen to run the second script. Next, select the source file path and paste the copied path by pressing Ctrl plus V. Next, right-click on the video file and select Copy Path. Select Target File Path and paste the copied path by pressing Ctrl plus V. You also have the option to change the output file name here if needed. 
and then click on play button. This process can take a while, so please be patient and wait until it's finished. Once this process is complete, the output file will be saved in the root folder. To access your output video, expand the root folder. Then on the right side, click on the three dots next to the file. Select download to retrieve your final video. Let's see the magic that turned cricketer Pat Cummins into football player Harry Kane. So we'll run around there to, uh, this afternoon and hope to play tomorrow. Um, yeah, hoping to play all three games. Uh, in terms of, yeah, I'm just trying to decide. So we'll run around there to, uh, this afternoon and hope to play tomorrow. Um, yeah, hoping to play all three games. Uh, in terms of, yeah, I'm just trying to think of the long list, but um, Starkey's here. He won't play um, tomorrow, but he'll hopefully be available later. In the same manner, you can perform face swaps on images as well. Simply upload your image files. One crucial step to keep in mind is to rename the output file with a .jpg extension. Deepfic technology has come a long way, but there's always room for improvement. We'll compare the original footage with the Deepfic to see how well it turned out. It's crucial to remember that Deepfic technology can be misused. Always use it responsibly and consider the ethical implications. Respect privacy and consent. That's a wrap for today's tutorial on creating face swaps using Deepfic technology in Google Collab. I hope you found this video informative and inspiring. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.